In this video, I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process of how to correctly set up your very own Google Ads search campaign. And the campaign strategy and setup process, which I'm going to be showing with you now, is actually the same campaign structure that I've used for hundreds of companies like these, and which has generated well over $17 million in sales in the past 12 months alone. If we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And I've been creating and managing successful and profitable Google Ads campaigns since 2010. So if you're keen to learn how you can use Google Ads to grow your own business, why don't you give me a quick subscribe right now? Thank you. Okay, let's get straight into it. But before we get into that step-by-step -step process of how to set up your very own Google Ads search campaign, I wanna quickly take you through the correct campaign structure that you need to be using for your own Google Ads campaign. And the reason for why this is so important is because if you don't have the correct structure in Google Ads, you will actually be wasting a lot of money and ultimately you won't be able to have a profitable campaign for your own business. This is the Google Ads campaign structure that you wanna be using for your account. So at the top level, we have our Google Ads account, and this is your core account where we have all of your different campaigns. Now, when we look at your campaign level, this is your high level products. So if you're a clothing store and wanting to create a campaign for selling your men's clothes and your women's clothes, and then maybe some men's shoes and women's shoes, these are the core campaigns that we'll be looking at. So you'd have a men's clothes campaign, a women's clothes campaign, and then your two shoes campaigns. And then the level below that, we would then have our different ad groups. For example, with our men's clothes campaign, you would have your ad groups which are relating to men's clothes. So you might have a t-shirts campaign and then a jeans campaign. And then the level below that, we have all of our individual keywords which are relating to those products or those services which you're looking at selling. And the reason for why we set it up this way is because that way you have your individual ad groups with your keywords that can go through and target individual ads. So look at it like this, is that we have our campaigns for our men's clothes, women's clothes, men's shoes, and women's shoes. Then the next level below under our men's campaigns, we have our men's t-shirts and our men's jeans. Under the women's clothes, you might have your women's dresses and your women's skirts. You could also have your women's jeans. And then the same for the shoes, you have your men's casual shoes and your men's leather shoes. And the same for the women's, you would have your women's casual shoes and any other type of shoes that you wanted to sell. And the power in this is that by breaking these keywords into individual ad groups, so that each ad group only has one keyword theme, is that that means that you can then write your ads and point people to your landing pages, which are highly specific to the actual initial search. And this avoids a case is that when you have someone searching, for example, a men's shoes, that they go directly to your page on your website, which is selling men's shoes. They don't go to the home page and then have to try and navigate to the actual page where it shows all of your men's casual shoes that you have for sale. So that's a very quick overview of what your Google Ads structure should look like for your search campaigns. Now we're actually gonna go through the process of how you would set up a campaign. But what I wanna make clear is we're only gonna be going through this process of setting up one campaign. So when you put together your whole account, this process that we're about to go through, you might have to replicate another two or three times, depending on how many other type of core products or services that you wanna go through and market. So that's the Google Ads account structure that you need to be using. So now I wanna take you through the step-by-step -step process in how to set up your very own Google Ads campaign. Now I do wanna give a warning that I am gonna be going through this process quite quickly. But don't worry, because if you stay around to the end of this video, I'm actually gonna give you a link where you can get my free Google Ads search campaign setup guide. And this setup guide not only has that structure which I just showed you, but it actually has screenshots of the step-by-step -step process that you need to go through so that you can set up your very own Google Ads campaign. But right now, let's get into that screen share while I'll take you through the step-by-step -step process and how to correctly set up your very own Google Ads search campaign. To start the process of setting up your very own Google Ads search campaign, you wanna be going to ads.google.com. And if you have a Google Ads account already, you can just go to sign in. But if this is your first time, you need to go to get started. This will then prompt you to set up your own Google Ads account. And once you've set up your Google Ads account, you'll actually see a screen similar to this. And what you wanna do is you actually wanna go down and switch to this expert mode. Now don't get scared by the switch to the expert mode because the reason that we do wanna switch to this expert mode is so that we can actually set up a search campaign campaign because if we stay in this mode we are only allowed to run smart campaigns which are campaigns which are automatically generated by Google and they generally do not give you the same level of results of what you can get by setting up your own campaign so that you can see all the data and create your manual optimizations. And remember, that's what I'm here for and what this channel is all about is to not only teach you how to create your very own Google Ads campaigns, but show you how to optimize them so that you can get the best results for your own business. 
So once you click on the switch to expert mode, you'll actually come over and you'll see a screen like this. And the first step is that we wanna go through and click on this new campaign button. Now this brings up some different campaign objective options. If you're running an e-commerce store and you're wanting to sell products, I would actually use a sales campaign. Or if you're running a service-based business and you're looking for more leads, so whether that be phone calls or email inquiries, select this leads button. And in this case, we'll be choosing leads. And the next section from here is it actually brings you down to your conversion actions. Now, if you don't have any conversion actions set up in your account yet, you can just leave this blank. But what I will do at the end of this video is I'll also be giving you a link to show you how you can actually go through and set up your very own conversion actions in Google Ads. And then we press continue. This then shows all the different campaign types and because we're dealing with a search campaign, we select search. And once again, because we've got our conversion actions, we don't need to do anything extra here. If you don't have those conversion actions, remember, as I said, you don't need to worry because you can add them at a later date. Now, when it comes to the campaign name, I wouldn't just leave this as what Google says, is you wanna put an easy name so that you can actually understand the campaign. Remember in the example we said before, if you're doing something like an e-commerce store, selling men's and women's clothes, you would call this campaign either men's clothes or women's clothes, or men's shoes or women's shoes, depending on the product that you're wanting to focus on. For this example, we're gonna be setting up a campaign for our villa resort in Bali, which is called My Villas in Bali, and we're gonna be focusing on our one bedroom villas. We're gonna call this one BB search, which is an internal term we use for one bedroom villa. I put search there so that we know it's a search campaign. There's no rules on what you need to call your campaign name, and no one else will see this except for you and anyone else who has access to your Google Ads account. What the goal is here is that you're wanting to be calling it something where you can very easily see what that campaign is about. So I would generally put in the product name or the service name that you're targeting. Once we're happy with that, we then press continue. Now comes the time where we go through and add in our budget. Now for Google Ads, it is important to note that while it's set on a daily budget, it is calculated over a month. So if you wanted to spend $450 a month, you would set a daily budget of $15. Now it comes to our bidding. There's two main options with this. If you've got some conversion actions already, you can choose this conversion action option, or you can actually choose the clicks option. And what that actually is saying to Google is that we want them to focus on clicks or we want them to focus on conversions. So but at this stage, we'll just keep it at conversions. And then when it comes down to the more settings, and this more settings option is just letting Google know that you're happy for them to do some different split testing with your different ads to find the best performing ads. And we are happy with that option at the moment. And then we go and click next. Google then gives you some options if you want to select or unselect the different search partners and the display network. Now for a search campaign, I unselect both of these. The reason for why I unselect the Google search partners is because we just don't get enough data with those and I've never found this has improved my results. And then the reason for why I unselect the display network is because if we're gonna be setting up a display campaign, I would much prefer to have a separate campaign which has individual images, which are now gonna perform better. Now we come down to select our locations and you can make this a worldwide campaign, or you can make it a campaign that targets your country of origin, or you can make it a national campaign for the country that you currently live in, or you can go through and add in some different locations. And for this campaign, I'm gonna go through and add three or four countries, which we know are perfect targets for our current campaign. Now for our location targeting, it's not only about targeting it by a country, you can actually also target it by cities, regions, or even postcodes. Now we come down to select our language, and I would recommend only having one language, and in this case, we'll use English. Now the next option is when it comes down to audience segments. Now this is actually a very, very important step because by adding in these audiences right from the start of the campaign, it will give us some extra data points so that we can add some further optimization down the track. Now it is important to note that by the audience segments that we are adding here, we are not excluding any other audiences which are not part of the audiences we're adding. It's just giving us some extra reporting and that's why we wanna go through and add these audiences right now at the start of our campaign. Now when it comes to the audiences, all you need to do is just type a few keywords about what your product is about. Remembering that this is a villa resort in Bali, so we can just type in Bali. And this brings in some different audience options that are within Google that we can select. And you might try another one, which is holidays. And as we said, remember, it's just the observation method, which means that we are not ruling out anyone who is not part of these audiences. We're just getting some extra data. Now that we've added our audiences, we wanna go through to this more settings option. And this is where we have two main actions that we can do. Firstly, we can choose when we wanna start this campaign. Now, if we're setting up this campaign now, but we don't wanna start it for another two or three weeks, this is where we can go through and change that start date. The other thing that we can do here is we can actually go through and edit our ad schedule. And this talks about when our ads will actually appear. We're happy for this campaign to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but if you're running a service-based business, focusing on phone calls, and you only wanna be receiving leads and inquiries during office hours, you can go through and actually select the options for these ads to only show Monday to Fridays, 
at the times that you want them to add. But as we said, we're happy for this to be running all days. And then once you're happy with that, you then go through and select next. And then this is the fun stage of where we get to go in and add our keywords and our ad copies. And when you're setting up a Google Ads campaign, my recommendation is that before you get to the stage, you've actually already gone through and generated your keyword lists and your ad copies. So when I'm setting up my campaigns, I go to a Google ad sheet that I've already prepared, which has all of my keywords and all of my ad copies that I'm gonna be using. And that means that I can just cut and copy these into these sections. Now the reason for why I do it this way is remember when I was taking you through the Google Ads campaign structure that you should be using, this is an easy way for me to go through and add in those different ad groups and those keyword ideas so that I know that our keyword searches are matching our ad copies, which are also matching our landing pages, which is gonna be a much better user experience and help to increase our conversion rates. Now if you wanna learn more about how to complete your keyword research and how to write ads for Google Ads that actually convert, I'm gonna leave some links in the description below so that you can go through and watch those trainings after this video. So what we wanna do now is go through and use some of the keywords that we're gonna be using for this ad group. And this ad group is gonna be our one bedroom villa Seminyak ad group. We select those, put them in here, and then we also wanna go through and change our ad group name. And that's how easy it is to actually go through and add our keywords, as long as you've already previously done your Google Ads keyword research, which as I said, is something that I would highly recommend because I've found in running Google Ads, that is the best way that you can guarantee that you're gonna be getting better results for your campaign. And then we go through and create our ads. Now for your URL, as I said, rather than just sending people to your homepage, you wanna be sending people to the specific product page, which best matches their search. Now, obviously in this ad group, we're targeting keywords that are in around one bedroom Seminyak Villas and one bedroom Villa Seminyak. So we're gonna to go to our one bedroom Villa Seminyak page. We copy that URL, we put that in the top. And then from there, because we've actually already gone through and created our ad copies, it's just a matter of us going through and actually copying these different headlines and putting them into the sections here. I've gone through and copied and pasted all of these headlines and the descriptions from my ad copy sheet. Now the way that the ads currently work in Google is that each ad will show up to three different headlines, which are these lines in blue, and then it'll also show two different descriptions. But when we actually create an ad, you have the options of adding up to 15 different headlines and up to four different descriptions. And as you scroll through, as you can see here, Google will actually do some different split testing and it'll also display different headlines and different descriptions depending on the actual keyword that the user used to trigger your ad. So this is how your ads look in mobile and then if you click this little desktop item, you can actually see how they look on a desktop. And once you're happy with your ad copies, you can then go through and click done. And now that we've added our keywords and ads, we then go through and click on next. And now comes the stage where we wanna go through and add in our site links, call out extensions, call extensions, or any other extensions that we wanna to add to the campaign. Now I'm not gonna add this through here on this example, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna show you some examples of what these actually look like, because these are actually a very important element that you need to include in your campaign. So if you've ever done a Google Ads search before, and you actually see some other little highlighted links underneath, they are actually the site links. And what they actually do is they take you through to different parts of a page, which the person may be interested in. So for example, running back to that store example that we gave, even if someone actually did the search for men's shoes, you can actually put different site links under here down to the individual types of shoes. So whether it be running shoes or formal shoes, or you could even put some other links like to men's jeans or to men's t-shirts so that people can actually go through and click through those from the initial ad if they wanna see them. Now your call out extensions, this allows you to actually add in some different information about your business. And an example of your call out extensions is this section right here. So in this ad, this advertiser is adding out some different amenities that their business has in and around that they've got a private pool, free Wi-Fi, housekeeping, and you can see the other benefits there. And then finally, call extensions is when you actually add a phone number at the bottom of your ad so people can click on your ad straight away. And this is especially good for mobile users. And then once we're happy with everything, we then go through and click next. And then finally, it comes to the stage where we just go through and review our campaign. And then once we're happy with our campaign name, our campaign type, objective and goals, we go through and check the budget and bidding. We then go through and check our targeting and we make sure we've got some keywords and ads. We can then go through and press this big blue button, which is the publish campaign button. Congratulations, you now know how to set up your very own Google Ads search campaign. Now, as promised, if you do wanna get my Google Ads search campaign setup guide so that you can see the screenshots and the step-by-step -step instructions that I just took you through, along with that correct Google Ads search campaign structure that you need to be using, you just need to go through and follow the link in the description below so that you can get your free copy today. And now that you have your very own Google Ads search campaign, you need to learn how to actually optimize your campaign in the correct way. And if you wanna learn more about that, I want you to go and watch this video right here. As always, thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on our next video. See ya.